I want Hey y'all, we back. Hey y'all, and welcome back. Or if this is your first time being here, seeing my face, welcome. On my channel, I share all my journeys of life, okay? Fitness, health, home ownership, home decor, uh, 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 DIYs, renovations, makeovers, yoga, self-love, whatever I decide to share. But just know that it's all things good vibe related. So if that's your kind of thing, feel free to subscribe, join the tribe, we would love to have you. Now I say this often, but sometimes it turns into something else, but I'm gonna say this right now. The goal is not to make this intro super long because I'm ready to make some real progress to really like start to transform this room because I'm in the mood to like get it done now. I woke up today feeling good, started work, went on lunch and I looked behind me on my lunch, right? And I'm like, let me just move that chase where I originally wanted to put it because I've been in my head. Do I put it over here? Do I put it over there? Is the sun over here? Is it dark? It was just too much, too much. So today I said enough is enough. Let me just move it around and see if I can get inspired. So I just got up, I moved it back to the original place where I was envisioning it, and that's where it's going to be. That's where it's gonna be. Not only that, when I moved it here, I just started to get even more inspired. So what I'm gonna do, like I said, this intro isn't gonna be super long. I'm just not in the mood to waste no time. So let me show y'all where we at, what we're about to do, and we just gonna go with the flow. I'm excited, because this video right here is just sourced off of pure inspiration and just this new eagerness in me today to like bring things to life. So let me bring y'all down, come on. Real quick, just to bring y'all up to speed. Like I said, Chase is there. I feel like, and a few of y'all said it as well, it just seems more balanced with it being against that wall. I felt like because the pattern is busy, while simple, it's busy, and the color pops, I wanted to kind of break it off so we can spread out the uniqueness. But I think they belong together, and I think that's beautiful, and I think that picture there We'll set it off. This table here. I mentioned very, very briefly that although I did get the table top, it's not as wide as it should be, as you can see. I could make it work, but I don't feel right doing that. So I'm gonna have to get a table top here that comes all the way out. So that's gonna be next on the list. I actually found one on Facebook Marketplace, y'all, but when I said, okay, I'm about to come and get it, they gave me the address. It was like an hour and 10 minutes away. I'm not doing that. By the time I get back, it'll be nighttime. So we're gonna stick a pin in that, but we are still 100% going to get a larger tabletop for this. I just wanna get a deal. I don't wanna pay retail price, so we'll circle back on that. However, because I have this tabletop that doesn't fit on here, I ignore the mess. Don't judge me, I just got off work, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I think I wanna like just drag this over here just to get a small vibe of what a little DIY L-shaped situation would be. So that's what I'm about to do real quick. This is gonna be super, super jinky real quick. <laughs> But I just wanna like see it, if that makes sense. I gotta bring it out this way, okay, that's better. I honestly just need to kinda like visually see it to know where I'm gonna go with that. Let's just see how it flows. You see the L-shaped type vibe? I'm thinking if there's a way I can get it to be level. The good thing about my desk, obviously, is it raises. It raises and it lowers. You know, so it'll be able to meet the table wherever it goes, right? I'm either gonna try and find like a dresser to go here, a small dresser to act as one of the legs and maybe like some two small legs on that end. I'm gonna play with that part, but I feel like this L shape would be a vibe. Although it's not the same exact color, I think the white and the woods would go. But the main purpose and the main goal is just to have more desk space. So we move some stuff. So I'd be able to either still work here and have like my writing. I'm not gonna put too much on this table because it's not steady. <laughs> but just imagine like my laptop, I could either do this, boom, 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 work here. Or what I would prefer is to have both of my computer monitors, maybe like caddy corner here, my plant here, because the desks will be more over here, I have wall space to be able to, my vision board. This is my little mini manifestation board, y'all, but I'm gonna make a whole vision board. I would love for it to go a little bit further out. So because I'm not gonna use this desk for the sewing Cricut creator desk, I'm not gonna waste my time returning it. I'm going to just turn this into an extension for my work from home desk. 
What do y'all think? And just think those legs here won't be there. I'm gonna try and find a drawer to act as a leg here. So that's gonna be extra storage space for paperwork, my journals, things like that. And just regular legs down there. I'll have more of that wall to work with. Like I said before y'all, this corner is going to be a vibe. Mark my words. So that's an update on that. Let me give you like a different angle so you can kind of see a little bit better. See? And it doesn't take up too much of the space. Let me actually put this back because it's not stable at all. But real quick y'all, something super simple but super necessary. I bought these and I just forgot that I had bought them. Just some Scotch Guard fabric protector. If I don't do this now, I'm gonna forget to do it. So before we get any further and allow myself to make a mess on anything, I'm gonna go ahead and spray down the chair and my baby back there just to get him protected, okay? And why not record it? <laughs> tackle next what I'm gonna tackle next is something that I know I would put off until last minute so we just gonna rip the band-aid off and get it out the way I don't know how long it's gonna take me it shouldn't take too long but I told y'all the trim around the mirror I want that to be gold so we gonna do that I'm gonna have to open up a window y'all because what I'm not gonna do is carry that mirror downstairs that's just the accident a blooper just something waiting to happen so I'm gonna open my window for ventilation I'm gonna bring in some plastic and I'm gonna go into the garage because I think I have some gold. It's been a minute since I did like something actually DIYs to where I get into like my supplies. So we're gonna go around the house real quick and see what we're working with. Cause what I wanna focus on right now is doing things that I don't have to go to the store for, buy anything for. Let's do the what's here first and then we'll go from there. So come on. Look, we are not here to judge. We are not here to judge. But let's see what kind of paint we got. I know I gotta have some gold. I hope I got some gold. Oh, this is house paint. Okay, oh, there we go. Jackpot. Let's get some, I need some plastic. Doop, doop, doop. My actual mess. Sometimes I share way too much with y'all. It's cool though. All right. What I didn't find is tape. I need to find that. I know I got some. Look, keep your eyes closed, y'all. Y'all need to look up in here. It's, it's not to be seen. <laughs> we got tape. So we got tape, our plastic, and our paint. Wow, I just threw that paint like that. I don't know. and actually take down all the tape and we'll do that together. Okay, so time has passed and I'm pretty sure this is dry. So I'm gonna uncover that, get this mirror up and get to peeling. Every video I pulled up online, y'all, everybody just has it leaned up against the wall, which is fine. But I personally, I want that very clean, mounted, flat against the wall look, you know? Look at the ground, y'all. It's like a murder scene. As y'all can see, the paper did its job in covering it up. So let's get some peel back action. Stop playing with me. Hey girl. 
here we are it is hurricane season y'all i keep saying that but it is and when i say that i just mean the sun is just not present as often so let's keep it real let's keep it real she could use a little windex treatment on her <laughs> but she's done the gold coat is complete and it looks beautiful something so simple is just changing the trim on this mirror y'all oh my god it's really the little things now granted i'll admit it is more of a goldy versus the brass but it'll still tie in thumbs up if you enjoyed that small little diy refresher i think it adds an extra added oomph you know in the quality and the vibe of it so glad we got that out of the way let me clean up this mess i'm not gonna put y'all through that i'm gonna do a little magic trick voila i'm gonna go ahead and throw a second coat on both of these i don't think i need to record that and we will come back when we come back oh no day and we're back it's a whole new day oh yeah shaking a little bit y'all done okay it's a whole new day some things have happened got some new things took some things back blah, 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 blah. in an effort to not to make this video an hour i'm gonna give y'all a quick rundown of where we are right now okie dokie so look that stuff is still there from taking this up off the windowsill anyways so update the tabletop that i purchased for this i took back i took back because obviously it wasn't wide enough right if you can look at this tabletop here it is perfectly fit y'all perfectly fit even a little bit over um, but that's exactly what i needed we'll talk about that in just a second but if you follow me on instagram you would have seen i was playing with the idea of putting that table here except it didn't really come as long as i needed it to so i still wanted that width that depth of it but i just needed it to be a little bit longer so i got this 78 inch which is much longer, <laughs> just not as wide. The plan is to put it here. Now I found somebody selling these two legs. These are little table legs and this tabletop, which is a couple of inches wider than the first one that I showed y'all. I know a lot of y'all commented that my craft table for like the sewing machine and the Cricut machine should be bigger. I know y'all. I I agree and I know the only thing is is this room is just not a huge amount of space to work with this would probably like the perfect length maybe a little bit wider but as far as length goes to have like a lot of space to work with if I put it on this wall it wouldn't fit I still have to work in this corner y'all so I can't have things bunching together and this is 59 inches wide. The one I had before was 55. So like I said, it's a little bit wider, but it, as you can see, it just starts to spill over like past the mirror and stuff. So, so I agree, I want a tabletop that is as wide as I possibly can have, but I still want to work with my space in a way that I'm creating within the space and not like overdoing the space, if that makes sense. So. I found somebody selling this tabletop, which is 59 long, 30 deep, along with two table legs, right? How weird is that? But they had it posted for 25 bucks. Y'all know me, look. <laughs> they, they agreed to take 20. <laughs> it don't hurt to ask, but I got the tabletop and the two legs for 20. Technically, I only need two legs for this situation here because those two legs will be going on this side of the L-shaped situation that I'm gonna make. And the last thing that I decided on was to get this Alex drawer. Y'all, I was thinking of going to Michael's, getting the dupe, which this one's $99. The one at Michael's is 69, but of course you can use like coupons and sales. Right now I could have got it for about 50 bucks, but it doesn't have the lower filing drawer. And also the dimensions are not exact so it would have been a little bit off as far as like the size of the tabletop versus the drawer so i figure since i am saving in different areas like the tabletop the legs i'm you know getting so many things off of facebook marketplace and i have been on the lookout for somebody selling this on offer up facebook marketplace haven't been able to find anybody so just bought this one because i don't know if y'all feeling how i'm feeling but i'm pretty sure y'all feeling how i'm feeling i'm ready to get this office complete because there's so much more to come y'all this next series i already am beginning to work on 
y'all have no clue what is to come but i'm super excited about it but yeah that means we got to get this done so we can move forward and keep it going also just got like one of each of these little accessories just because just to kind of work with it i got those pegboards i was going back and forth in ikea like do i get white do i get brown but then i it just hit me like if you get brown you can always paint it white or black or gold or peach or whatever like you can paint it whatever color you want it so i decided to go with the brown so i'm really thinking putting those right together side by side i measured them and they're like exact for the table a little bit over each side but to the naked eye it'll it'll be pretty seamless and i'm thinking floating shelves like two floating shelves above that that's gonna be played by ear so that was a quick update y'all what i'm about to do is look i'm looking up this video of how to put this together y'all know i don't like to build but in order for me to be able to move forward finally have things where they need to be i need to build this desk and just get it out of the way we're gonna rip the band-aid off okay so watch me do that started but I need my tools would you look at that I would like to request that part of my life back. Thank you. As y'all can see, I did it. Did I doubt that I could do it? No. Did I want to do it? No. Are we still talking about how I didn't want to do it? No. So let's move forward. <laughs> so, I mean, I think y'all know what this looks like. It's got the top three drawers. I got it all installed. I was thankful to see that this came with the little, um, file cabinet folder thingy so those are installed as well um but yeah this is going to be the end of the extension of the l-shaped desk that did take a lot of time so what we're gonna do while we still have some daylight left is set it up oh wait i do have to get my table legs onto this desk the table legs again i got them off of facebook and they came with this table top so I'm gonna have to remove those little cap things up here that are attached to this table. And hopefully I don't need to get any more screws. So I'm gonna take these off of here. We're gonna get them on there, attach these bad boys, and we will finally see what the L-shape extension is gonna be. I'm excited because that means I'll have my full desk set up in the corner and then We'll be able to go from there. Okay. Y'all look how crazy this camera is. So y'all wasn't in the comments telling me 
about this? Y'all wasn't letting me know. This <laughs> is so ghetto. <laughs> Okay, what do we think? This is the corner desk. Now, it is longer than I initially wanted it to be. And I went back and forth about this a lot, y'all. Y'all know how I am, y'all know, <laughs> oh, y'all know I went back and forth about this. But I did take some things into consideration. One being the leg room that I would have while I work. The shorter the desk, the less leg room because I'm using a whole drawer as I guess the other set of legs for the table. So it gives me the extra amount of leg room. I know I talk a lot about the Cricut machine and the sewing machine that will be over here, but I can't pile everything onto this desk. So, so where the drawer is above that will more than likely be my printer. This gives me more flexibility to kind of move my setup over this way. When I'm sitting here, it just, it's a mess. It's ridiculous, y'all. I know it's terrible. Whatever, I'm working on it. Don't worry, when this is all said and done, the mess will be the last thing you're worried about. But yeah, I, I like the flow of just having this space. It's gonna be great, especially when I get my plants up here. I'm gonna say this real quick because it's just been on my mind pretty heavy. I don't know if y'all have ever saw those colorful archway wall arts or wall either decals or where people paint it. I have just been feeling like this needs that. And I really want to do it in like a peachy neutral type color. So either like a one arch or a double arch. I think I'm gonna do that because what I'd like to do, oh, look, something along this vibe. I really love all these colors together, Loki. Don't get me to, don't get me to putting this up here. <laughs> Can you see it? Okay, this is half of the arch, but not all the lines, just solid. But can y'all see it? Once I figure out if I'm gonna keep this wall as is or do something artsy, I'm gonna, of course, put up my little board, maybe a couple other things. But yeah, this is the corner and this is what it's looking like, y'all. Comment below, tell me what you think. I am very happy with it. I am glad with my decision. Here's what I'm actually gonna do because I do wanna see. I'm gonna move my monitors, cat a corner here, just to get a feel for the vibe and the thing i love about my desk y'all is it's not exact so all i gotta do is move this a little bit and i can level it out very easily so like this hold on there we go there we go <laughs> so yeah sinks very well update i'm into it i i just really created the work neck like yes I really, really like it. I love it in the corner because it gives me some wall back. Just the table space that I will have to burn my candle and not think I'm gonna burn whatever is next to it up. <laughs> Multitask on my laptop on whichever side I choose. Just the very beginning because I literally have no decor, no styling over here whatsoever. Only thing I would say is I did install this plant hanger here um, and it does kind of hang a little bit low i wonder if i could untie this in some way or i could easily just kind of cut the tassels if it's that deep when this opens and spreads of course it's going to lift it a little bit so i'll be kind of playing with how low the plant that i put there is but that just means i'll either need to get a different hanging situation or i'll figure it out but i'm not taking that down i like the corner idea for plants and i'll have all this natural sunlight for my work day ah! so i'm happy about this y'all like real happy about this i started this series and i started going into it thinking okay i'm just gonna throw work into a corner right i'm gonna throw work into a corner everything else i'll just focus on because it's mainly mainly me however i'm just such a big believer in really making the best of whatever situation you have not only that it's a blessing to have a room strictly for like work and creativity like i'm so thankful for that i want to make sure that i give the attention 
to every aspect of what this room will be that it deserves. Yes, I wanna be able to create. Yes, I wanna be able to be comfortable and inspired, but I also wanna be inspired, motivated, uplifted in the space that I'm technically gonna be spending hours in throughout the day. So I had to bring a little bit more focus back into this corner, y'all, because again, I'm gonna be honest, at first, the vibe was, look, that corner is just gonna be work. We're just gonna put that desk we already have, boom, that's work. Now let's focus on the rest, but no. I'm putting a lot more energy into this space than I initially expected, and there is a reason behind that as well. We'll get into that once this is all complete. But you got me, Alex. You got me to pay retail, you got me to assemble you. You owned me, but I knew it was the right decision, and I'm glad that I did. <laughs> Okay, so real quick, I wasn't actually gonna record this part and I'm not gonna record it in its entirety, but I'm about to put up this mirror to the wall. A lot of people just kind of lean it against the wall. Um, that's why it has a separate screw to do that there. Um, I prefer the mounted, clean, flat look. This is a very heavy mirror. Just a quick tip for my DIYers. I don't have studs in the location where the mirror would align on this wall. So I always use these toggle bolts, these heavy duty toggle bolts to help with heavy things that I hang. I use them with the large mirror downstairs at the entryway because that as well is heavy. Not as heavy as this, but that's also heavy. We also use them for my TV downstairs. This is just a tip. Definitely something to have on hand if you hang things, DIY, stuff that is heavy and you don't want to constantly worry about like if it's secure. Here's a little picture to give you kind of an idea what it does. It just puts a much stronger grip on drywall. So yeah, I'm ghetto. I use tape to align my things that I hang. I do not measure anything. So, so I just get the area. You couldn't see none of that, huh? So you went straight through. I'm pretty sure these holes are not big enough, but essentially you poke that in all the way in. I'm gonna have to make these holes bigger. I'm not gonna record that whole thing, y'all. I really got a lot to finish, so I'm gonna try and get it done so we can have this video ready for y'all. And hopefully the next video will be the complete one. No, I'm gonna say that. The next video will be complete, but I'm gonna have to cut out little things like this so I can actually focus and get things done. So, but like I was just trying to explain, you'll make a bigger hole, not too big, start small, and then make it big as you go because you can't do it the opposite way. <laughs> Um, you poke this in, once it goes all the way in, pops back, holds the back of that drywall. But yeah, I just wanted to share that real quick. So let me get this mirror up and we'll be back. Okay, real quick, I know I can't help myself. I just be trying to drop some gems, okay? So I made my hole big enough. I'm being very cautious with the wallpaper, as cautious as I can be. So we'll push that back all the way in, right? And when you, you get that in, pull it back. Pulling it back, it's kind of like, very similar to how I did the hanger in the corner, but this is obviously coming from the wall, not hanging from the top. And what we'll do is, I can do this with one hand, this little part here, back towards the wall. I gotta do this off camera, hold on. This is pretty much a heavy duty anchor. So I'm gonna do the same over here and I'm gonna get the mirror mounted. I just wanted to share that. Okay, bye. Y'all, I'm currently salty. I was literally getting in a groove and I realized I don't have the nails that fit. So I gotta go Lowe's. And I know by the time I get back, it definitely won't be any sunlight left. By the way, I love the idea of the desk. <laughs> I just love the desk, y'all. I really love the desk. You know what else I would love is to have that mirror up and done with. So I'm about to go get some more screws and then I'm gonna get these pegboards up. I refuse to not get things up on these walls, so yeah. So after going to Lowe's, getting two different types of screws to be on the safe side, only to come back home and realize that even those don't fit. I just want to give y'all a brief. I already started and then I said I should show them some of the weird, crazy things that I do and I just do them like they're normal, but I literally make anything work, okay? So the problem isn't that the screw doesn't fit, it's that these little screw head, whatever you call that part, they're too wide to fit in how that mirror is set. So I'm like, okay, well, if the screws don't work, mind you, this is all like shavings of what I've already done. But if the screws don't work, baby, I will simply shave it down. 
Yes, I'm well aware that I am getting dirty. I should be wearing protective this and protective that. Save me the drama, okay? But here's an example. This is how it is. Can y'all see that? Okay, boom. This is the little ghetto one. This is the one I fell down. It looks super weird. But it in no way affects like the ability to screw and unscrew it. Okay. Yep. Here we go. So I'm gonna do the other one off camera. Um, I just wanted to share with y'all that there's so many situations like that that I go through. Um, but we get it done. <laughs> Okay, the mirror's up, it's up and it's stuck, okay? I would like to reiterate and be very, very clear that that little saw down the screw situation, 10 out of 10, would not recommend. Do as I say, not as I do. Extremely ghetto. Don't do that to yourself, girl. You deserve better. Y'all, that took so much longer than I expected it to. I screwed down the wrong screw. It was a whole thing, but it's done. I don't know if I showed y'all. This is Buddy, y'all. When I went to Lowe's, I saw Buddy. He told me to take him home, so. Say hi to Buddy, y'all. Buddy is a part of the office. I don't know exactly where he's gonna go, but it was Buddy's little face for me. <laughs> I love how I can just spin around like this anyway. But you see the difference, especially with the wallpaper how putting it on the wall and when you see it in the daytime it's 10 times better like it just gives a much more elevated look than just leaning a mirror on the wall you feel me hey new day and as you can see i did not get those up okay reason being i was exhausted y'all so that's what we're about to get into right away i just wanted to show y'all this mirror in the daytime real quick and how it truly looks mount it onto the wall let me know what what y'all kind of prefer when it comes to mirrors i just feel like the elevated flush hung up look just adds that extra touch desk in the daytime i don't know if y'all saw it in the daytime ignore all the mess y'all we have not yet gotten to the very end where everything is clean and pristine and put into place but don't worry we are so close to being done with this office so we're gonna get these up. I think I'm gonna try and put some of these floating shelves up. Of course, we're gonna put our girl up too. So basically, we are going to begin to cover these walls. So let's do it. All right, leggy and sweet. <laughs> some company so I had to stop the camera so we're back okay <laughs> if I wanted to like little ones like little plants I love I love I love okay so real quick let me toy with the idea that I might be ready to mount a floating shelf I know right these damn floating shelves that I was making such a big deal about and have not even hung up one I know I know I know champ how do we feel 
about a floating shelf above the pegboards. How do we feel about it? I feel like it wouldn't be it wouldn't be terrible. Watch out now. I might go for it. I'm gonna go for it. thing to note y'all I would not recommend this floating shelf because it's not the type like Ikea where it has the like poles pointing outward from the wall so it's not very secure the box even said that it holds only up to like 33 pounds which not even really that because if I push down enough on it it starts to slant I don't plan to put like crazy heavy things on it you know but I did want to say that aesthetically it's nice if you plan on putting anything heavy on them I would not recommend but let's test a few things here let's put buddy up there buddy likes it while I'm not gonna put heavy things up there I do want to feel comfortable enough to feel like it can hold things so let's put a crystal here yeah i think it should be fine and i tried my best to center it i'm not gonna say i tried my best but you know i had a system in my mind so that's about as center as it's going to get so let's take this down let's put this table back now i'm really tired y'all <laughs> i'm like extremely tired and um yeah so what do we think about the Cricut slash sewing area? For now, I'll probably have just this bench here, but I might end up getting like a, you know, a different type of stool. And while I'm not ready to like open this and begin to use it, this is where this will be. It's not that big. The box is bigger than what it is, but I might end this video here because it is getting dark. Um, actually, I'm lying. I'm lying. Hold on. Because we've been, we've been waiting for this way too long, so we're going to do this too. We're going to get you up on a wall, girl. Yes, the mama. Yes, the mama. DM me on Instagram was like, girl, if you don't put that picture on the wall, it was Brie. Shout out to Brie on YouTube. She was like, if you don't put that picture on the wall, I'm like, I know, girl, I know. So I did it. A part of me wants to put two floating shelves on this wall just because, but because I'm not 100% sure exactly like what situation is going to happen in that corner, am I going to go straight to that? But what I am going to do because, again, this is my temporary, like, manifestation vision board. But this will be my actual vision board where I will print pictures, update it, the whole thing. So I want this to be visible to me while I'm working. But I don't think I want to have it here because I feel like because I moved the desks here, I want to get, like, a nice calendar for here since I'll have easier access to it. And my vision board can go like here. What do we think about that? I don't know. Maybe vision board here? I'm not sure. I'm really not sure on this one. So I'm gonna stick a pin in this. If I did add a floating shelf, I just think it would, you know, add a nice aesthetic to it. I ain't gonna do it, girl. I'm just thinking about it. I ain't gonna do it. Nope, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Because I'm not sure of the placement of the remainder of the wall shelves, and I have to kind of like determine the use of them because they are not gonna be able to hold heavy things, I'm gonna end this video here. But don't worry, because the next video will be the home office makeover finale. 
Well, we will complete this room completely. I already have a couple of things from Amazon and boxes downstairs. You know, office stuff, wireless mouse, wireless keyboard, um, a couple of computer mounts. So some, a few like office things. So get excited because the next video y'all, we're finally going to be complete and we'll finally be able to step back and take a real good look at all the hard work that has been put into this room thus far. I hope that y'all enjoyed the updates here. Finally figured out the work desk situation, put together the drawer. So we have this corner set up, got the right tabletop for the craft desk, put up the pegboards, the floating shelf, put up our pink little mane, y'all, put up the mirror, painted the trim gold. So we've definitely made a lot of progress. Y'all, last night I was just sitting at the desk because it's facing the window on one side and I had my candle and I had my laptop out and I was just, I just felt this feeling of comfort and just calmness and warmth. I don't know how to fully explain it, but it hit me and I even posted on Instagram. I was like, yo, it just hit me that I'm literally creating my own office studio space in my home. And like, it's not until like certain pieces are added and you're able to sit at a different spot and like look at things from a different angle that it really starts to bring things full circle. So I'm just thankful. I need to say that. I need to say every single time that I'm just thankful, 100% thankful just for everything. So as always, I appreciate y'all coming along on this journey with me. Um, tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about that. This is very, very basic, y'all. It's gonna turn into so many things. I'm gonna go online tonight and see if I can get some more accessories for the wall. Just imagine some of my fusion paints up there. If I add some accessories for like some rolls of the colorful paper for the Cricut machine. It's just, we spent this entire series so far bringing this room to life little by little. So in the next video, y'all, and we'll be able to really see the full transformation. So I'm excited about that. I'm not gonna keep rambling, but if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below what you think about the updates. Everything that I've had since the video. Look, do you like the build? Have you ever built this Alex drawer? Do you like the L-shaped desk? Do you not like the L-shaped desk? How do we feel about the pegboards? Should we paint them white? I saw a picture online that was like painted in an artsy way. And I see myself doing that down the line. Put a picture right here. Tell me what you think about that. But again, this is just the very beginning. As time goes, it's just going to be even more magical, y'all. Like organization, plants, stuff. Okay? So I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. And the table legs. Sorry. The table. As well as my chase. I don't know why I'm leaving y'all. And I went back there anyway. Girl, look at that. You see that cupage all the way from back? Ooh, 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 ooh. Why keep pausing like I do? All this I've been in between, oh, and I mean. Let me get my bees out. I like that. I like the little Papa pastel. You know, come on. Hold on, what is that? Girl, they gonna judge you. If you know what that silhouette is looking like, <laughs> silhouette challenge. Ooh. Okay. Fire, y'all. I'll put the chase back here. I don't even know if y'all can see it right here. Look at <laughs> you see my silhouette? That just looks so weird to me. Anyway, okay. Focus. What's up? We back. I'm like I'm choking out. Watch my channel. Watch my video. Like and subscribe. <laughs> you gotta get out more. Oh dear, we go. Mm. Oh, I can hear the thunder. God, I can hear the thunder. Okay. And really start to assemble things. Y'all hear that thunder? Ooh, child. Would you look at that? <laughs> Great, you are corny. I saw the sign. And it opened up my eyes, I saw the sign. Nothing's demanding without understanding. It's too bright. Why are you guys gonna take my melanin, girl?
We don't do that over here. Ooh, child. Things are going to get easier. They are. I go where I want good. I go where I want good. I go where I want good.